So Colorado and Denver weather 101. March is, on average, by far our snowiest month of the year. In fact, that's closely followed in long-term averages by April and then December, then February. But what we often see in the month of March are these big, dramatic snowstorms. That's the month of the year that we're most prone to those because we tend to get a bit more of a southerly storm track. And, of course, when we're getting into the month of March, we're starting to see a bit more of a temperature gap. And that gap between, say, the much warmer weather off to our south as we start to get a bit more sunlight and the colder, more wintry air off to our north leads to stronger storms. Remember, what weather is, is Mother Nature trying to equalize the atmosphere. So if you got really cold air somewhere, really warm air somewhere else, you kind of need to equalize it, and storms are one of the tools that Mother Nature has at her disposal in order to do that. So point being, this is the time of year we tend to get big storms, and March at the beginning of the spring season is just cold enough that we usually can get these big time snowstorms. You might remember, of course, the Pi Day snowstorm last year, which led to about 10, 11 inches for us in Denver. Then back in 2021, we had 27 inches of snow, our fourth biggest snowstorm on record, and in 2003, our second biggest snowstorm. So two of our five biggest snowstorms on record have come in March. Five of the 20 biggest snowstorms on record in Denver have come in March as well. And now you know the reason why.